In the last few videos I've posted featuring the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, I have been getting lots of questions asking what case is being used in the video. Today we're finally going to talk about the Pitaka Aramid Fiber case. I've actually had it for quite a while, but there is good reason why I have not actually posted this video, why I've not actually reviewed this case. As you can see here, this case is Aramid Fiber. It is $59.99, which does make it a little bit cheaper than something like the Thinborn Aramid Fiber case. It does have the MagSafe magnet inside, and that is the primary reason why I have not posted this video already. For those that do not know, that magnet location is <laughs> in the wrong place. It is too high. The actual wireless charging coil in this phone is not here. It's more like down here. It's a little bit lower. And because of that, some of these different case makers have had to fix their cases and ship out replacements. As you can see, this is too high. The Thinborn case was too high, but they are beginning, I believe, if not already very soon, I would assume, they are shipping out replacements for these as well. Now, I have asked Pitaka about this. I sent an email, and I just haven't heard anything back. It's been over a week, and I have not heard anything back. Now, I've seen kind of anecdotal stuff online, like I think in a Reddit post, someone said that, you know, they heard they were sending out replacements, but I've not heard anything directly, so I'm just going to put that out uh, before we go any further, I would say that right now, assume that that magnet is going to be in the wrong place and just assume that you're going to be using it with a grip or something like that and not necessarily for charging. If that is something that is fixed and I hear about that for sure, I'll have a pinned comment down below. So check that to see if there's been any movement on that. Beyond that little bit of information, we'll talk a bit more about the case itself. It's aramid fiber, so it's very, very thin, only about a millimeter. It's very, very light, only about 20 grams. I think that this is also supposed to be 600D aramid fiber, which is sort of tougher than you see in a lot of cheaper cases that are maybe 1500D, something like that. So all that stuff being said, let's take a closer look at the case itself because I definitely do have a few thoughts about it. All right, so we have the Pataka case here, and I also have the Thinborn case as well, which is definitely a little bit more expensive. I think that it is around 89, although I do have a 15% off coupon code, so it brings it a little bit closer. Still, this is the more expensive case. The one thing I want to quickly point out to you is that the Pataka case does not come with the front piece, and I think that the reason for that is that these little front pieces on these folding phones, they're just very, very hard to get right. They're very, very hard to get them to stay in place. You end up using adhesive, and it just it still just doesn't end up working all that well, to, literally to the degree that even when I use the Thinborn case, I just end up not using this anyways, and this is such a thin case that it, it may look a little bit weird at first, but you get used to it, and it ends up not being too big of a deal. But keep that in mind, the Pataka case does not have the front piece at all. I do also want to point out that around the camera, we'll move this grip out of the way, and there's something else I need to talk about that you may already be able to see. Around the camera, instead of aramid fiber, it is sort of this metallic material, so that is definitely a little bit different. I also do want to point out that this case did not have any adhesive in it at all. This strip of adhesive is something that I actually added myself. And the reason I added it was because when I had this case on, there was a little bit of movement. It would actually slide this way ever so slightly. We're, we're only talking maybe about a millimeter. But when I had the grip on, you could just feel it kind of shifting back and forth a little bit. And also, when you would go to lift with the grip, it would kind of pull away a little bit. And I find that with that adhesive on there, both of those things sort of don't really happen anymore. Now, unfortunately, using this particular grip, you can see on the grip itself, I had some sort of a little pebble or something get stuck between this and the case. It was actually something that was magnetic because it, it stuck to this grip. And what ended up happen, happening was it was stuck on, and as I'm using this grip, I was turning it to get it into the right position, and it left a pretty decent gouge 
in this aramid fiber case. You can actually feel it there. So that's just an unfortunate thing. And if that had happened on the thinborn case, the exact same thing would have occurred. These things are not indestructible. They're going to be able to, to scratch and so forth if something like that is to happen. My big takeaway there is that, you know, maybe if you're using a grip or something like this, instead of using a grip that has to physically turn, maybe look at one like this from Spigen, which actually has the base stay still and the top part itself is the only part that's actually moving. Taking a closer look at these two, though, side by side, they are very, very similar. I do think that the Thinborn might be an ever so slightly tighter weave, but they're very similar. I will also say that in terms of flexibility, they both do have some flex in them where the magnet is. That's probably going to add a little bit of stiffness. I feel like the Thinborn might be a little bit stiffer, and I think that's because it's actually a little bit thicker. It's gonna be very hard for me to get that on camera, but you can probably see that there. It's actually significantly thicker as well. So there is a price difference, but you are getting at least a few things for that price difference, right? You are getting the front piece. You are getting a thicker case as well. So I think you have two really good options here. I really like the Pitaka case. I would just recommend getting a little piece of adhesive to kind of keep that thing better in place. And otherwise, yeah, you can save a little bit of money. And this is a very, very solid, very low profile case for your Pixel 9 Pro Fold. No, no big complaints with this guy. So there you go, guys. Those are my thoughts on the Pitaka Aramid Fiber Case. I've already shown you the link on their official website, but it is also available via Amazon. So I will put links to both sites down below. If you use the Amazon link, it will help the channel out by earning commission as it is an affiliate link. So definitely keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.